All right, so today the updates. Um, I'm having a hard time even logging in. I probably will DC in about 10 seconds. So um, I'm gonna show you guys this really quickly. Shift drop, you click that and it's turned on and then you just hold shift and then whatever you click will drop if you're not DCing. But yeah, that is the big update today. I am DC'd like I said, like I can't even log in for, I have a hard time entering my bank pin before I DC. That's how fast I DC. Yesterday I could not even log in at all. So this is pretty bad, these servers, but on to the next updates. I'd love to show this stuff in game, but I'm just DCing way too much, so I can't do it. Um, so first up, uh, other than the shift click drop, there is the Superior Slayer visual improvements. So here's three of them, the Abbey Demon Slayer encounter, the Dark Beast Slayer encounter, and the um, Crawling Hand Slayer encounter. I think there are some other ones that they updated that they don't have shown here. But yeah, they updated the look of them. They look pretty cool. That Dark Beast looks awesome. And yeah, now on to the next update. Uh, Mother Load Mine Quality of Life. Uh, larger pay dirt sack. For the price of 200 nuggets, you can now double the capacity of the pay dirt sack in Mother Load Mine. Uh, they also made it so that the sack shows how many pay dirt are in it. Um, improved the upper level vein. So on the upper level, if you've unlocked that, those ores now deplete randomly. So you can have 50 people mining the same spot and it will be the same as if one person was mining it that is super nice i hated that muzzleload mine uh, having people going on to my spot and mine making it deplete faster that that's uh, fixed at least if you're on the upper level now uh skilling quality of life they changed construction a little bit so they added uh these keyboard shortcuts when you open the construction interface to build an item you can now use the numbers on your keyboard to pick which item you want to build. The, this first thing, the uh, oak clock, you hit one on your keyboard and it will build that. You hit three on your keyboard and it will build this servant's money bag for the gilded clock and so on. So that's, that's a little helpful. Um, and uh, they also added the servant's money bag in your con in construction. Um, costs two mahogany planks, one bowl of cloth, and one gold leaf to build. And it basically makes it so that your servant can just take money from it instead of having to sit and talk to you every 10 times they go to the bank or however many times it is. Um, so that, once again, it's just saving a little bit of time, making construction a little bit quicker. Easy scape uh, and also runecrafting skill perk uh, that's been changed. So now runecrafting pouches will no longer degrade if a runecrafting skill cape or max cape is warm while filling the pouch. And I'm not sure if this is an addition to the current perk. The current perk is you can enter any altar while wearing the max cape or the room crafting skill cape without the tiara or the uh, talisman. So I'm not sure if this is an addition to that or if this replaces that, uh, but that it was pretty useless anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the 99 agility perk, never failed room haven obstacles. Once again, I don't know if this is in a replacement or if this is an addition to the current perk um, but now if you have the agility skill skill cape or the max cape you will never fail any obstacles in the Broomhaven agility arena so that is the best place to train agility if you're 99 I think if you know exactly the best way to do it um, blast mine uh, is now it is now possible to place dynamite into rock cavities at the blast mine via a left click option rather than having to use dynamite on a cavity uh, and the weedless farming for a cost of 50 tithe points uh, farmer whatever of the tithe farm will allow you to permanently rid your farming patches of the burden of weeds so weeds will never grow on them again and uh, fastest cave fight competition um, over the next week we're running a competition the player with the fastest completion of the fight cave will receive the IRL Dragon Scimitar shown above alongside a year of membership. And in order to be eligible, you simply need to complete the fight cave between now and next Thursday's game update. You can complete it as many times as you wish. If you think you've got what it takes, go and try it out. You probably need a twisted bow to compete though. Um, and you would need to be able to connect to the servers unlike most of the game right now. And in other news, you now have a chance of receiving elite clues from raids. Notification is now given to the party if someone clears a farming patch in raid. The arc light is no longer able to be alked. The teleport in combat timer in dead man mode has been added to the wilderness lever. 
Room crafting pouches will no longer be able to, to degrade when attempting to fill them while already full. Notifications have been moved to under chat options. And that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.